All right, Visions, Tatooine Rhapsody is the name. Studio Colorido made this. Colorido. Colorido. Yeah. So my uh, spoiler-free thoughts, I really hope that this is the worst of the series. So if this you is the spo- worst... You can spoil us. If you well, want, I'll, if I'll you just want. give a initial thoughts here. Mm-hmm. Um, not great. It's a music mm-hmm. episode. It's about a punk rock band. It's set with real Star Wars characters, which I think is going to be different from the rest of the series. Do they use lightsabers as drumsticks? No. Mm-hmm. And guitars. I mean, that's that's mistake number one. <laughs> All right. Well... They have a Beskar drum set. <laughs> I can already see why you think this is the worst. We start off at the concert for a uh, group called Star Wave, which is why Marty's number one Star Waver fan. Or Star Waver? Oh, yeah. Star Waver. Um, so we've got all sorts of Star Wars characters. It's a bit... um. Like kind of cutesy anime style, like little bodies, big heads. It's not yeah ridiculous, but uh, we see Boba Fett, and he is after the rock band's bassist. Jabba the Hutt wants him for some reason. They're like nobody likes a bassist. Nobody likes a bassist. It's like who, who am I gonna kill? <laughs> the bassist. <laughs> nobody likes a bassist. <laughs> so they are trying to run away from Boba Fett. Um, the basis has like some flamethrower base. Anyway, Boba Fett's Boba Fett. He hunts him down and takes him in. We find out the bassist is a hut. And Jabba wants to execute him for wanting to be in a punk rock band instead of doing uh, crime family stuff. <laughs> instead of doing the, you know, crime thing that yep. we're better known for. <laughs> now, the lead singer seemed to have been a. Uh, a Jedi youngling who survived Order 66 and he feels he owes Jabba's uh, nephew or whoever this is one and so he convinces Jabba to let them play one more gig so they play at the pod racing stadium on Tatooine one one last gig (laughs) and Jabba starts tapping his tail because the song and they decide not to kill him episode over do they do Jedi it's not Jedi rock no, they play a song. I don't know. It's uh, instead of like punk rocky, like I'm not okay. He was like, "You are okay." You'll watch it. Yeah. Uh, lead singer. I want you to sing it. The, the, all the the musical bits, Brian. <laughs> oh, who was, was this it, lead was singer? Actually, was lead actually, singer was um... Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh, now I have to watch it. Now you got me. <laughs> I gotta watch it. Java. I'm a big. Do you know I'm a, how big of a JGL fan I am? No. I'm a big JGL fan. I'll, I'll watch any of his work. Like, <laughs> um, what was the, what was, is it Rush? Like the the one where he's on the bike race? It's one of my favorites. Oh. One of my favorite JGL classics. You're talking it's about premium rush. Premium rush. Premium rush. Yeah, premium you rush. paid for the basic rush. You got to pay an extra five ninety nine for premium rush. But if JGL's in it, that makes it premium enough as is. For sure. Did you know JGL was in that seventies show? Nope. He was Eric's. He was Eric's lab partner. It was Eric's oh. dad, right? Try... Is Eric's dad? He's... <laughs> yeah. Joseph Gordon Lev Red Foreman Levitt. <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Gordon Gordon Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> can't fucking say also words. like oh. looper a looper is a classic Looper's a good movie uh, so the yeah. uh the GL. the hut that's in the punk rock band is voiced by bobby moynihan <laughs> oh, all right well that, that that that's a typecast i like that too <laughs> and they uh they actually get <laughs> tamora like morrison to do boba fett so that's cool too <laughs> 